Good morning, GC. I'm Josh Steffi here with Isaac Williams to bring you today's news. Seniors who voted and now, seniors voted and now we have the results of class of 2020 who's who. You voted Cade Babb and Jayla Chalker as Mr. and Mrs. GCHS. Cody Goatley and Rachel Mathis were named most athletic. Jacob Woods and Hannah Winfrey were, vote, were voted best smile. Most likely to wear Crocs to graduation are Isaac Carrico and Abby Nall. And most school spirit went to Keaton Gills and Sydney Grimm. You voted Malcolm Gilbert and Madison Upton for worst case of senioritis. Meanwhile, Taylor Goodwin and Abby Stratton were voted most likely to succeed. You also voted Jagger Blue and Olive Vowell for most artistic and Jacob Mills and Arby Milliken for class clown. And Williams and Sarah Throgmorton were selected most likely to, to be president. And then best dressed are Christian Lashbrook and Ariana Perodic. Tavis Brown and Michaela Story were voted most likely to trip at graduation. Congratulations to all of you and thanks to everyone who voted. The 4A leadership class canned food drive wraps up this week. Today is Macaroni Monday. Wednesday will be Warm Up Wednesday. Soup will be the bonus item. The winning class at the end will get a cookie cake and the second place class will get cupcakes. This Saturday brings you a chance to check out the University of Kentucky. The Big Blue Open House event gives First-time students the opportunity to explore their academic interest and interact one-on-one -on -one with current students, faculty, and staff. You can also explore student and academic life and tour campus. That's this Saturday, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the Lexington. Eagle Baseball is selling GC apparel. See any baseball player or coach for to buy some gear and help out Graves County Baseball. Seniors, this Friday will be the date for Strictly Business. Do not forget to dress up. During the break, Logan Beck recaps the weekend's sports action. Plus, Dan Walker shares a message for the ladies. Hey, GC. Last Friday night, our Eagles football team faced off against Owensboro High. Our quarterback threw three interceptions. The Eagles season came to an end with a 43 to zero loss. The Eagles season ends at seven and five. This is the first time Eagle football has made the second round of the playoffs in a few years. So there are some promising signs for the future. For GCTV, I'm Logan Beck. Today there will be a high of 49 and a low of 36. Tuesday there will be a high of 55 and a low of 34. Wednesday, there will be a high of 57 and a low of 44. That's all of your weather. I'm Madeline Brown. Hey, this is for any girl who hasn't been told they're beautiful yet today. So, um, you're welcome. Sophomores can now apply for HOBY, a leadership program. Selected students attend three or four day seminars and participate in hands-on leadership activities, meet leaders in their state, and explore their own personal leadership skills while learning how to lead others and make a positive impact on their community. The HOBY application can be found on your Schoology account or students may pick up an application in the guidance office. Visit HOBY.org for more information. The application must be turned in by November 22nd to Alicia Mathis, sophomore school counselor. The HOBY seminar is May 28th through May 30th at Kentucky Wesleyan College, Owensboro, Kentucky. You only have a few more days to enter the Fleet Reserve Association's Americanism Essay Contest. You can win a 5,000 cash prize for writing an essay of just 350 words. This year's topic is what my vote will mean to me. If interested, contact Ms. Rogers in the guidance office. Again, Wednesday is the last day you can enter. That's all for today's news. For GCTV, I'm Josh Steffi. <laughs> and I'm Vasek Williams. Have a great day, GC.
and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.